Hi, my name is Cindy Wilson and I'm an Alpha 1. Uh, diagnosed in 2001 initially after a three week hospitalization uh, where I was on a respirator. I had a fellow doctor that was attending me in the hospital and she asked me to come see her in her office. Now, mind you, I've been treated for asthma since the early 90s, 90, 1991, after being involved in a chemical spill. Um, and I started using albuterol, attending asthma classes in the hospitals with multiple, multiple monthly exacerbations in the hospital. Um, then I started getting pneumonia and it really went downhill. Uh, this doctor though said she was aware of a disease that was genetically um, uh, involved and um, she really didn't think I had it but um, wanted to know if I would be willing to do a blood test. So we did the blood test and uh, the blood was sent to Baylor Medical Center. And when it came back, my doctor was excited because I was her first alpha patient ever. And even though she hadn't anticipated that I would actually be an alpha, my lungs were so damaged that she felt that there was an underlying cause. Um, I was working full time at the time and um, my insurance wouldn't cover the uh, replacement therapy because I was just a level 62 and I'm also an MS. Um, in 2005 I was no longer able to work anymore so um, I had to stop working. I dropped to 98 pounds. Um, I had people carry me to and from my car because I couldn't walk and was on full-time oxygen. And uh, life really went down at that point. And then I met a doctor, Kyle Hogarth, at the University of Chicago at a uh, respiratory health association rally. And um, I was able to see him in his office and at that point, within two weeks, he had me on replacement therapy. My hospitalizations cut down to twice during a four year period. In uh, uh, 2007, I started being worked up for a lung transplant. And um, in February 2008, I was actually officially listed. And on October 8, 2008, I received new lungs. So um, I got one single right lung. And uh, my life, the quality, um, my abilities, everything has changed immensely and dramatically. And I am thankful that I'm able to be here about seven months after transplant at the National Association. Association uh, conference. So I uh, thank you for your time. Um, if you know anyone that struggles with breathing or and maybe in their 40s or 50s, don't let them attribute it to age. It's, it may not be age. It's a simple blood test, and um, anybody should contact the Alpha One Association for further information. Thank you. Have a great day. Bye. Okay, I'm through. Oh, he's a